don't know if any of you have experienced the joy of a portly man-child in a £3,000 suit whipping out his cock and balls and skipping around like a cracked-out leprechaun. I was only trying to serve him champagne. Why would he do this, when mystery is the only conceivable advantage his genitals possess? Why should I be impressed by a tiny shriveled ball sack adorned with a button mushroom? I could have sliced it off and fed it to my cat, in the form of avant-garde Japanese cuisine. You may have heard that there are some negative aspects to smoking. I like to think of them as Bolshevik propaganda. But the worst thing, apart from premature ageing, is the smoker's cough. The resulting phlegmy files can sound quite sexy after a late night. You feel as if you're some 50s temptress that spent the night drinking whiskey with Sinatra. Oh, Sinatra, you charming cad, put down that cigar and take me on the billiards table. At other times, this phlegm winnows its way up through your throat to gather sinisterly, waiting for the right moment to strike. <coughs> <coughs> Did you just phlegm on my wall? No. No. For the most part, my drug-taking days are behind me. They have become a phase in my short life like acne and science fiction that I have grown out of unscathed. Why is it that horrible experiences inflicted on you by a fit of cosmic bad luck, like cancer, are character building? And horrible experiences you inflict on yourself are a source of disgrace and regret? Experience should be honoured in all its forms. And special occasions are special occasions. Sweetness. Sixteen sleepless hours later. I'm trying not to obsess over four horrible things that have now come to pass. Luckily, I had some emergency Valium left over in my room. The emotional trauma I would otherwise be experiencing has now been mitigated by a zen-like distance. The random sequence of piggies Meat is murder and happiness is a warm gun on my iTunes shuffle is a sign from a long-abandoned god calling on me to readmit him into my heart and give up the self-destructive behaviour that has led me into this mess. Keep my window shut, my blinds down, and my head deep in the sand. Don't ask me to be sociable, you know I couldn't give a damn. If they come knocking at my door, tell them I'm dead and gone to heaven. Tell them don't telephone, I won't be resurrected till 11. Ah uh -huh.